Climate change is not just about rainfall, it's not just about droughts, it's about people. And that's what we're really um, trying to focus on. So really, we're looking at um, values and culture. And a great example of this is just thinking about how tourists come to New Zealand. They come to look at some of the amazing natural icons of New Zealand. And with climate change, that could well disappear. A lot of scientific work is happening on climate change, climate change adaptation, especially um, the um, you know, climate modeling exercises going on. But uh, what we want to do is to take the, the science to the people and to see how they relate to the science. Because one of the things that, that is happening is that um, we lose track of what the values or the interests, the needs of the people are. What we are going to be doing is meeting people, different stakeholders who, are, who have come to us. Many of them have come to us, which has been fantastic. Um, and they want to know how exactly their particular perspectives and their priorities can influence the way in which we can work out adaptation strategies. So for instance, we have spoken with Maori communities who have said that because of sea level rise, they are no longer able to walk and access their marae because it's going underwater. And that's hugely influential. I think one of the things that we have uh, tried to look at is that there is local expertise and knowledge in this country. And one of the people that we interviewed recently, you know, um, uh, uh, an elderly Maori lady who told us that, you know, we are not scientists, but we are experts. And that's really the core of our project, that we need to bring uh, science work in conversation with local knowledge as well. And it, the blending of the two is something that will equip us really well to face the future.